Hey everyone, it's Alicia and I would like to welcome you to a brand new episode of In The Loop. Now as you may have been able to tell from the title of this video, today I'm talking about the essentials that I bring to both concerts and wrestling shows. I was thinking about my favorite gigs the other day and realized, holy shit, I've been to a lot of shows, uh, both on the wrestling and music front, so I figured it'd be kind of fun to put together a little video where you could learn more about me, the things I bring to gigs, and maybe this will help you for all of the future shows that you go to. Now before we get to the list, remember to subscribe to Ambi, like this video, Drop me a comment because it is awesome hearing from you folks. I've actually had so much fun lately replying to all the comments. So yes, drop me a comment, I'll reply, say whatever you want. I think that's it. Let's get to this list. I swear I'm having the worst hair day ever today. I've had it up, I've had it back, I've had it like this, and I just can't get it to work. So this is what you're stuck with for the rest of the video. All right, concert and wrestling show essential number one is my interview gear. I know this will probably not apply to majority of you folks watching, but I need to bring my interview gear with me everywhere. Uh, anytime I go to a concert now or a wrestling show, I always have interviews. Uh, I used to always go to concerts just for fun before I had Ambi, and now I get to go for fun and do work at the same time. So yes, my gear, my camera, my microphones, my tripods, my lights, my cords, all that stuff comes with me wherever I go. Show essential number two is a phone charger. When I'm out, probably like a lot of you guys, um, I am on my phone a lot doing social media, replying to people, sending stuff out, um, rehashing a lot of Ambi interviews in case you guys missed them. So I'm on my phone a ton. And then it gets to the point where you look at it at one point during the night and you're like, 40%? When did that happen? So make sure that you always have a portable phone charger with you so you can just plug in and you are all set for the rest of the night. Essential number three is gum. Whether it's in your purse, your wallet, your buddy has it, make sure that you have gum with you when you're at a show. A lot of the time when I do interviews, it's like interview, 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 back to back. Uh, so there's not a lot of time to eat. I find that I miss a lot of meals or eat really late in the night after the interviews are done. So I'll just pop some gum in my mouth and it kind of keeps my stomach at ease. And uh, it's great for when you're at a show, if you've been in line for a really long time and you can't leave the line uh, to grab food, just make sure you have gum with you. Gum and water, stay hydrated. Essential number four would be comfy shoes. A long time ago, I made the mistake to go to an outdoor all-day festival and wear these like cheetah print flats, and I regret it to this day because I can still feel the blisters that I had that night. The festival field was muddy, it was just like it downpoured, it was awful, and I was like walking like a doofus in these flats because I couldn't get from place to place, my feet were stuck in the mud. Anyways, I just painted you a lovely picture. You get the idea. So make sure that you have shoes that are very comfortable and will last you the whole night. You want to remember the show and not how badly your feet hurt. Essential number five is lipstick or chapstick. My lips dry so quick and it's so annoying. Uh, so whenever I'm out, I always make sure that I have lipstick with me because it one, looks pretty good on camera and two, keeps my lips nice and hydrated. This is for dudes and chicks. You can all wear chapstick. I actually interview a lot of guys and before the interview they'll put chapstick on and I'm like, right on. So make sure you have that with you. And now we are at essential number six. This is something that myself and you literally have with you everywhere so there's no excuse to not bring it with you to a show. That is your big mouth and your dance moves. You gotta bring those with you to wrestling shows and to concerts. One, concerts, super obvious. Bands are playing, you're singing along, you're dancing along, you're just having a great time. You may be thinking, why do I gotta bring those to a wrestling show? Okay, it's a little behind the scenes here. You have no idea how many times I've seen wrestlers dance to other wrestlers' theme music backstage. It is such a sight. I love it. And then when you make eye contact with them and they're like, they start doing a little jig, it's so funny. So make sure you bring dance moves because even for intros, you can have so much fun to those entrances and your voice at wrestling shows, come on. Whether you're a heckler or you're a cheerer, you've gotta bring the volume and the noise because it just makes every show so much more fun. So yes, be sure to bring those with you to any show you go to. A little story about myself here is I was actually out with some friends the other day at the mall and uh, we were just shopping in a store and they're playing some really good new wave song. I can't remember if it was Bye Bye Love by the Cars or what, it was a new wave song. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this tune. So I was looking at jeans and then I was kind of like doing this while going through the jeans and my friends just looked at me like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm just thinking to myself, you got the music and you got the rhythm. So uh, <laughs> if you've seen me at shows too, you've probably seen me do that. It's embarrassing because I don't realize I'm doing it. But yeah, little tidbit about me. 
probably unnecessary, but now you know, now the world knows. So yes, those are my six essentials to concerts and wrestling shows. If you actually do these, let me know. If you already have this whole list down, all six of them, that's amazing. Um, if there's some you think you're gonna start implementing, sweet. If there's some you think are totally useless, let me know because we will battle it out in the comments section. That is it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned before, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think about this list or if you just want to say howdy. And of course, subscribe to Ambi for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. There's a lot of cool stuff in the works, so be sure to stay tuned across all social channels because I'll be announcing a lot coming up. I'll see you next time on In The Loop.